had two dogs and one of them broke their neck and the other one had to be put down because he was getting too sick. She. Sometimes really sad things can happen or scary things. But you can always find someone who can go to you to make you feel safe. Who do you go to when you're scared or you're sad? Who makes you feel better? Who? Me? <laughs> well, you can come to me if you ever feel scared. How about you? Jesus. Who else? My mommy. You know, these are the best people. And God is someone that we can go to who helps us in our times of need. He comforts us. Well, you guys, and I'm so proud of you. You guys have answered all the questions, and you're learning and growing so much. And I know that you're going to grow up, and God is going to, is going to um, bring you friends, and you're going to be strong, and you're going to do great things, just like the heroes on Freedom Island, to help keep Texas free and America free. Thank you enough for what you are doing. You know, our hope and prayer is that this morning will be a little spark that lights a fire in the hearts of moms and dads and librarians and educators and lawmakers and citizens and patriots across Texas and the entire nation to do what's right, to stand for truth, to resist evil. And don't hand our children over to those who have plans to confuse them and plans to disorient them. You have been tasked by God to shepherd their little souls. They're in your hands. And you doing the right thing will inspire others. Many aren't sure what to do, but you're showing them right now. Get involved. Do something. And there's nothing more important than raising your own children. Change and hope does not begin at the White House, it begins at your house. Yeah. And as Riley said earlier, we can't depend on others out there with authority to protect you and your children. We must look to God first, and we must look out for one another. And it's we, the people, who must govern ourselves and do the right thing. And if we do that, God will champion our cause because covenant keepers win and covenant breakers lose every time. We just need to stay around long enough to see the end of the story. And I'm confident that good will triumph over evil in America when the good are unafraid. So keep up the great work, and God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.